T minus 20. Stage one tanks pressing for flight. T minus 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off. seconds the vehicle was active utilization we're now controlling the rate that liquid oxygen and fuel are consumed out of the tanks we want them to burn out evenly not use up one or the other too much vehicle super side is nominal? You, you heard the call out, propulsion is nominal, you hear the cheering in the background. We have passed supersonic, it's yeah, dark, the sun set several nominal. minutes ago at Cape Canaveral, you didn't get to see the shockwave as the vehicle went supersonic. We've gone vehicle through maximum out. dynamic pressure, is chilling in. that's the greatest aerodynamic stress on the vehicle. We're through that, headed into the upper atmosphere and headed to the vacuum of space. And recovery platform has AOS. AOS is acquisition of signal. That means the drone ship can see the telemetry coming from the Falcon 9. Now currently we're beginning to chill in the second stage engine to get it ready for ignition. Next major event coming up is main engine cutoff and stage separation. We have Miko one. Okay. Bearing separation confirmed. Stage one FTS has saved F9 power and telemetry nominal. We have lost the signal from Cape Canaveral stage one as expected. Stage one entry burn has started.
And stage one, entry burn shut down. Stage two, FTS is saved. Stage one is transonic. Stage two prop is nominal. drone ship here. Ah, is that the... <laughs> and the video has has frozen out. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, we're seeing something, guys. <laughs> and we're out. Now, this is something that we expect to see happen on when we're landing on the drone ship. That's because as the first stage is coming back, it's shaking. Oh, we're hearing... obviously happened here <laughs> but you know as soon as we get that video we'll we'll show it to you uh, again. Oracle signal stage two from Cape Canaveral parking over looks good at 160 by one fit or by 531 is going to be doing is increasing aperture uh, in preparation for that move to orbit. What that means is we're going to be moving from a, a small elliptical orbit around the surface of the Earth. You saw it was just a little bit. Uh, looks like we have a successful se uh, signation of second stage, the second burn. Great fantastic. news. This is fantastic. Uh, and it's, it's going to be pushing into that larger elliptical orbit that really pushes it into, uh, towards that geostationary orbit. Um, and that's the, the transfer is increasing the actual increasing of that ellipse. So like, like we said, this is only 45 seconds or so. Uh, as soon as this burn is done, we're just going to wait for a confirmation that the orbit is good. And then it'll be another four to five minutes before the payload separation. This is when um, pyrotechnic bolts around the uh, second stage uh, uh, push the rocket. They, they separate the, the second stage from the spacecraft, and it gives it a gentle push to send it off into orbit and do its own thing. So like I said, we're just waiting for that confirmation. And, uh, and you can see the second stage nozzle glowing hot with those exhaust gases. I don't know if you noticed earlier, but it, uh, you could actually see the curvature of the Earth uh, below the second stage. And we have just got confirmation of successful good. second stage engine shutdown. That's that's good news. Wow. There we go. Good burn. All right. Successful burn. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so one of the things is, is that people might not know about the second stage is exactly how we talk to it. Uh, so there's actually there's a few parts uh, during this coast period and during the second burn that we lose signal to the second stage. But this is a normal process. It's because the second stage, as it's going around the Earth, goes over the horizon from our ground station.